Welcome to New Jersey. day to drive a 40-foot RV over the George Washington Bridge into Manhattan. Can't even hold this camera straight. <laughs> All right, we're going North 95. Clearance 13.6. That gives us a good six inches to spare. Okay, great. Why do we always do this to ourselves? Well, the reason we do it is because it's much longer to go around the city up to the Tappan Zee Bridge. You have to go on some small roads in Pennsylvania through some small towns and it's way out of the way. It's at least 30 or 45 minutes longer to go that way. So we choose to do the GW Bridge because it's faster even though it does cost a little money when you're coming north. But one very important thing to remember is if you're doing this route through New York, you have to make sure not to get on any parkways. Anything that's called a parkway is for passenger cars only. No trucks, no RVs, no campers or anything like that because the overpasses and bridges are very low on the parkways. And it can be easy if you're not familiar with New York to get off and exit accidentally and get onto one of these parkways. So you have to be very sure of your route when you're going through. Look at it ahead of time and make sure you know where the exits are and plan your route through. Um, we've been through New York several times so we feel confident to do this but just a warning if, if yeah. you've never done it before be very careful of that. And that's why you cannot follow the Google Maps because that will take you the fast route so you have to have some app or trucker or GPS or whatever that knows to take you on routes that the height of your rig uh, will be okay because there's no there's also no turning around in some of those roads right. so so don't follow just your your run-of-the-mill Google Google map or whatever for cars because it will take you the absolute wrong way so make sure you get the right tool as well and another thing about exits, especially in Manhattan, is that they can come up very quick and they can be several lanes over. So you might get on on from a bridge and then have to quickly get over three lanes and off. That just happened to us and luckily I wasn't filming because we had to concentrate really hard to make that exit. But that's why you want to look at your route ahead of time too. Thanks for coming to visit for Mother's Day, guys. Sure. <laughs> I can't find the mistake on it. <laughs> look, look at this right here. There's a mistake on our map. Sometimes we ask people to find Wait. it. Oh. Can, can you see it? Oh yeah. Or oh, they just made it the wrong place. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they, the UP. They, apparently, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Has, has annexed the Upper Peninsula. I don't know how oh. Michigan feels about that. I could imagine the Upper Peninsula people are like, ah, you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> Oh no, it's <laughs> That's fun. There, there's, there's the. Epic, I can't even focus on it. It's the so tiny. Epic state of Rhode Island. <laughs> I don't even know which direction it's supposed to go. I don't either. <laughs> what? Do you, where's it go? I think like that. I, oh, that would make sense. Yeah, that's kind of the shape of it. It's certainly the shape of things. <laughs> and they couldn't make it a color so it stands out. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Make it blend into I really think I really think there were some other design choices that could have been made here. <laughs> God bless you, Rhode Island, the, the New Jersey of New England. <laughs> Mater. Jason and I came to college here in Quincy, Massachusetts from 1988 to 92. I transferred I transferred in January of 89. Yeah. So halfway, oh, yeah. halfway through sophomore year. So this is where we met. And, uh, we're just having a walk here today because our daughter lives close by and we are taking her back home after a nice Mother's Day visit. Yeah. And here's a little bit of the campus. We 
stopped at this geocache in Rhode Island because we, you might remember, we picked up this travel bug in Kentucky and we're actually going to just dip it in this cache. So it's not big enough to put it in here, but we noticed that with some of our travel bugs that people were taking them and just dipping them in the cache and then continuing on to other places. So we just learned that you could do that. So we're gonna log this travel bug here and this is a special Harry Potter geocache and they've got a little Horcrux um, medallion on here, which is very cool. <laughs> if you didn't already know, I am a total Harry Potter fan girl. So this is right up my alley. Well, it's great to be back in New England. We've had a great weekend here in Providence, and today our campground does not have great Wi-Fi. Again, we have not had good luck with Wi-Fi. So Jason and I are getting some work done at our friend's co-office space, co-working space, and they have uh, generously allowed us to use their conference room for the afternoon, so we're just going to sit here and get some work done. Talk to you later. GPS took us past the turn and the campground sign wasn't very clear so we had to go turn around in an apartment complex and now we're making our way back. Is it right here? No, there's no sign there. That's, well, that's the place. Well, there's no sign there so don't turn there. Where's that huge sign? Down there. So that's not it? No. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're right. That sign is not the name of the place. Right. Well, we were looking for Tuxbury Pond RV Resort. And this looked like more of a state park camping area. I have two area, choices but... here. I well, this says private one. property, so it's not that. I imagine it's... 10 miles per hour. That's a good sign that we're in an RV place. There's hints, there's clues. <laughs> So this is one of the trails collections, which you were just saying can be kind of un uneven. Yeah. They're not quite as nice or large as the regular Thousand Trails. And or consistent. Yeah, we often find that they are tighter and smaller. And I mean consistent one. on completely different signs. Uh-huh. They're not branded the same way. <laughs> yeah. It might hmm. be great. It might be what that was, which was confusing and unclear it's still unclear we, and we're still driving down this long dirt road and we don't know where we're going <laughs> but that other road had a gate across it we couldn't get in there so but now we're going back into Massachusetts this has the uh, 10 mile per hour RV type signs that's 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 the hint but no now we're now we're back in Massachusetts this campground is right on the border, but the address is New Hampshire. Let's see what this sign says. Dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should call them again. No, we're here. I think we're here. I think this is it. Or we're getting to it. But legit, we are not in New Hampshire anymore. There are some RVs down there. Unless we were in Massachusetts and now we're back in New Hampshire. Maybe we crossed the line twice. Yeah, the line's right, right there. Now, of course, it says New Hampshire, not on telling the, you. What which... sign? Where are we? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> this must be it. I don't know. Either way, we're staying here. <laughs> Lovely to be back in New Hampshire. The trees are bigger here, the bird calls are different here, and the road is nice and sandy. <laughs> a million times. Oh, I finally got the sticker. There we go. I'm 
only Vermont is left. I don't know when we're gonna get that. That'll be like another year probably. <laughs> We have really missed New England. Thanks so much for watching our mad dash up the East Coast. Next week, we will finally make it to Maine and we can slow down a little bit for the summer. I'm looking forward to staying put for a while. Plus, we have some big plans for Maine, so be sure to come back next week. And until then, don't forget to go and explore outside your door. See you next time. Bye.